Hi there, today we're going to look at how we implement a map drive on a Windows 10 device through deploying a script with Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Um, one of the subscribers on our channel approached me uh, and left a comment and noticed that I'd done this uh, within my own configuration and asked if I could do a video on this. So actually I thought it was worthwhile doing because it's something that I searched around for some time uh, uh, in looking how to implement this. Now there are different ways in which this has been achieved. Um, one way is where you can uh, inject the ADMX uh, templates and then deploy a script which effectively writes a GPO to the device. In this particular case, Nicholas Suter has written uh, an automated wizard, which I'll show you a bit, a bit about in a minute, uh, where you just deploy a script from Microsoft Intune. And what this will do is it will set a task schedule to create the map drive on logon. Now the benefit of that obviously is if you've got multiple people logging on and you've got a particular script that is aligned against uh, certain individuals, it will do it at logon. So there, I guess there are pros and cons in, in that approach, but today that's what we're gonna demonstrate. So first off, I just wanna show you Nicholas Suter's webpage. He's got some really good information on here, so go and check it out. But when I was looking to try and find some um, functionality for implementing this uh, customer, I came across the details. In fact, I think it might have been uh, on Twitter that uh, I initially found this. And this has been really helpful. So he created uh, an automated way of mapping drives um, with a mapping generator. And this is really great stuff here. Um, firstly, you can do a number of things. You can uh, it creates a map drive on Azure AD devices. Um, it will seamlessly migrate existing map drive group policies, so you can import those if you want, use your own. Um, and you can generate a configuration from scratch and use an existing Active Directory group as a filter. Today what we're just going to do is um, create this from scratch and I'll show you how I, how I implemented this. So next step is to hit the Intune uh, Drive Mapping Generator. You will take to this web website and I'm going to do build from scratch. Okay, um, It's automatically created the document um, with some set uh, settings here, but I'm going to edit this. And then you can change your UNC path, your drive letter and display name, for example. Now, I've already got um, a share set up on my machine. Um, I'm not going to do this to a network drive. I'm just going to demonstrate this to an individual share on my machine, but effectively it's, it's doing the same thing. So I've got uh, a mapped K drive, um, which we're going to implement here. So let's do that. Let's change this to UNC format. So device name, then map drive. Um, I'm going to actually do this to map K drive letter and we're just going to label it with drive and there's no security groups here. I'm just doing it to um, Azure Active Directory group. And then what you do is you save that, it's got the details and you download the script. Um, let's have a quick look at the uh, result of what that, that gives you. So look in the actual script itself. You've got um, it, you know, the highlights to say it's from Nicholas Suter, and you've got a link to his website. But the input values from the generator are here. Uh, as you can see, you've got the path, you've got the drive letter K, and the label of, of drive. Now, that effectively is it, really. The rest of it will look at implementing other, uh, other variables if you inputted them, but also it looks to create a task on logon. Um, if you're familiar with uh, some of this PowerShell script, by all means, you know, go through it, and maybe change it to your particular needs. But it's a pretty succinct piece of script here uh, that we're going to implement. Okay, so let's head over to Microsoft Endpoint Manager and we'll set this up. Okay, so I'm in my Microsoft Endpoint Admin Center here, my own tenant. If I click on Devices, and then go to scripts. You'll see there's a few here that I've implemented previously, but we're gonna start this from scratch. So I'm gonna add a, a script, choose Windows 10, 
call it drive mapping k. Now run this script, log on credentials. No, we're going to deploy it to a device. We don't want to enforce script signature check at this point, but I will run it as 64-bit. Uh, um, obviously the key bit I need to check select the actual uh, document or the PowerShell script that uh, has been created from the generator um, and in this particular case I'm going to choose my drive mapping K okay that's uploaded um, I hit the next I'm going to add a group um, I'm going to select my Windows uh, 10 devices, select that, hit next, hit add, and that's it done. Uh, so we've got drive mapping K there. If I look at that straight away, you'll see nothing has been deployed yet. That will take a little, little while to uh, deploy. To help out, what we can do is select the actual device and do a sync. This will help uh, sync the device um, quicker. Or I can also alternatively, I uh, can do a sync from the company portal app. Um, essentially though, uh, the best and probably the quickest way of doing this is um, to log off and log back on because obviously the drive is going to be mapped on logon so I'm just going to sync to make sure that the settings come down um, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, reboot the machine and see what happens okay so I'll pause there for a minute and I'll come back and we'll see the results okay I've rebooted my machine and first off we're going to go back into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center we're going to look at the scripts um, this was the drive mapping K script that I added and deployed so if I go into that have a look at the status you'll see that the device uh, this succeeded it was deployed to my my desktop if I look at the status of the user that was the username I logged on with and that succeeded as well if we go into file explorer on the actual device you'll see here that it's got the drive K which um, is uh, which is mapped via the by the script it's mapped it to a local share on this device. It's not a network drive, remember, but that uh, that succeeded. If we quickly look at the actual script that was deployed, you'll see that the drive letter was of K in brackets there, and the label was of drive. If you didn't want a label, you could just blank that out, and it would just show K or whatever label that you appoint to it. Okay, that's it. That's a quick one run through setting a map drive using a script a PowerShell script um, please come back and have a look at uh, our other videos that we're we're setting up and deploying on on this YouTube channel weekly um, and obviously like and subscribe if you want to see be notified as they come through thanks very much for now